Contact tracing is a very classic tool that epidemiologists use to um, identify outbreaks and then identify sick individuals or you know people that may be infected with a particular disease, in this case COVID-19. Contact tracing really grew mostly out of uh, looking for the solutions to sexually transmitted disease outbreaks. And so basically once someone was diagnosed or as, as epidemiologists would say becomes a case, then we would ask them for all of their partners or all the people that they may have exposed and then we would offer them treatment. In this case, we're looking for anyone who's become a case of COVID and then we're asking them to give us a list of anyone that they may have had close contact with then each of those people could be contacted to determine who they had had close contact with and then again to monitor them for a period of time so that we can stop community transmission of COVID. It's really a low-cost, low-tech process. Generally, um, we call up the individual and interview them to see what their activities have been over the last period of time. Um, see where they've been, have they been working, did they work sick, um, because generally if someone's infected it stands to reason there's a good likelihood that they have the ability to infect others. One of the things that makes COVID-19 so much more complicated is the fact that it is spread through individuals without symptoms. In order to really contain this we have to do widespread testing but very importantly then you have to follow up widespread testing with isolation for those who are found to be positive and following up their contacts and getting them into quarantine. And so, you know, we do contact tracing in public health on a regular basis already, but this, in this situation, we need to take this to an entirely new um, scale, much, much bigger than any kind of contact tracing we have done before. So we are working hard to stand up in Delaware a contact tracing system with um, uh, many more people do, as contact tracers certainly than we have right now. We are estimating that we are going to need to um, have 180 new contact tracers in Delaware to help us keep control of this. We are trying to focus on those high risk individuals, the high, highly sensitive settings, such as like healthcare workers, um, first responders, those in long-term care facilities, um, those that work in industry where they're basically shoulder to shoulder in like assembly line type settings, um, so that we can target those high risk areas. Until we have treatment and vaccine, contact tracing is going to be one of the most important tools we have in public health to help keep this infection contained.